Welcome back to the show. Downing Street says it did not approve Suella Braverman's controversial article on the upcoming protest on Armistice Day. The Home Secretary has come under fire for accusing the police of, and I quote, playing favourites with protesters, saying they treat right-wing and nationalist protesters more harshly than those on the left. Braverman also referred to people planning to attend pro-Palestine protests in London as hate marchers and compared them to protesters in Northern Ireland during the Troubles. It's after she clashed with Met Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley when he said he can't cancel Armistice Day protests in London because the threshold of serious disorder has not been met. Uh, meanwhile, Israeli military warns that Hamas leaders are dead men walking as the fighting continues in Gaza City. Yeah, well, joining us first is former MP Sean Woodward, who was Northern Ireland's secretary under Gordon Brown. Uh, Suella Breverman's remarks causing a big media storm at the very least. She's been condemned by other people in her party and those on opposition benches. Uh, other people, however, supporting her rights to say this and saying, well, you know, the comparison has some relevance. What's your view? Well, first of all, Sue Ella Braverman is no ordinary figure here. She's the Home Secretary. So she speaks as the Home Secretary, not as you or I might do, ordinary citizens. And what is astonishing to me is the crassness of the comparison with Northern Ireland, which demonstrates she understands nothing about what happened in Northern Ireland. But secondly, the foolishness of not backing the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, because it's the job of the Home Secretary to back the police, not question the police, unless, of course, you're intent on asking the Metropolitan Police Commissioner to resign. So what really worries me here is the grandstanding by Suella Braverman as, as Home Secretary, which is frankly something that Rishi Sunak should be questioning, because he demonstrates, I'm afraid, that having asked yesterday for that article in The Times to be changed, she would not do it. So she effectively is defying his authority, and I do not know how that relationship can endure. Uh, perhaps Suella Braverman is uh, gearing up to ask Mark Rowley to uh, quit as Met Police Chief, uh, and her reasoning would be, and I've seen some of these marches, I mean, the police just aren't doing anything. They're letting people break the law. <clears throat> They're letting people chant jihad. They're letting people uh, fly Hamas flags. Uh, they're letting people, like, uh, chant hate chants against Israel. All of these uh, activities are against the law. Uh, in the uh, second, uh, first or second uh, demonstration in London, 100,000 people marched through the street of London, a significant number of them breaking the law. The police made nine arrests. The police aren't doing anything. That's Suella Braverman's uh, source of concern. She's got a point, hasn't she? Well, there's a discussion to be had here, but let's be very clear. The job of the Metropolitan Police Commissioner is not to act on his or her feelings, it's to actually follow the law. And the law is very precise here that there must be a threshold which the Metropolitan Police Commissioner has to be convinced about in terms of evidence which suggests there will be public disorder. If there is not evidence to support that and you don't pass the threshold, the Metropolitan Police Commissioner has no power by law to simply step in and say, I don't feel like it's a good idea for it to happen. Now, Parliament could change the law, and Rishi Sunak could tonight enact some legislation which would give that power to the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, but it would be my understanding that actually if he acted simply on his feelings, not on the law, then actually you could have a judge reverse that, and that would clearly be absurd. And the critical point here is the that the Metropolitan Police have to have the public's confidence. And that's why they're an independent police force acting on the law. So if we want the public to have confidence in an independent police force, whether you like it or I like it is immaterial. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner must follow the law. And if we don't like the law, then the Home Secretary should change the law. But when he... When he uh says there's no serious threat 
of trouble uh, on Armistice Day. I mean, what about the fact that Tommy Robinson and uh, various far-right organisations say they're going down the cenotaph and they're going to protect it? We know what that means. Uh, and if you go back two weeks uh, ago, uh, Sir Mark Rowley's decision was that the pro-Palestine march was allowed to go ahead, but a pro-Israeli march was not. It was banned. When they then said, well, can we have it in gold as green? He said, no, that's too close to the pro-Palestine march. You can see that Suella Braverman is concluding, as she said in her Times article, that Sir Mark Rowley is playing favourites. Uh, if you're an anti-lockdown marcher, stop the migrants, the police will stop you. If you're a Millwall fan, they'll be down on you like a ton of bricks. But if you're a left-wing pro-Palestine marcher, then you go right ahead. The police are biased here. I don't think the police are behaving in a biased way. And you and I can disagree and we can shout at each other about that for long as you won't. You won't resolve the issue. What the Metropolitan Police Commissioner has got to do, and I saw this a time and time again in Northern Ireland, very different situation from what's happening here. And again, really stupid of the Home Secretary to try and make a comparison. But what a Metropolitan Police Commissioner or a Northern Ireland Commissioner has to do is look at the facts. It's not about your feelings, it's the facts. And what Sir Mark Rowley has very clearly said is if over the next few days the intelligence evolves and we reach a threshold where there is a real threat of serious disorder, we will approach the Home Secretary. So he's made it really clear that if the evidence emerges that there is a real threat, then he will approach the Home Secretary. What I don't understand is why the Home Secretary refuses to listen to what the Metropolitan Police Commissioner has said. She clearly refuses to listen to what the Prime Minister says, because last night, Number 10 asked her to change that highly dangerous and stupid leader that she put in the Times. She wouldn't do it. But this is dangerous stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, a disagreement with the Prime Minister, it's up to him whether he has any authority left to sack her. But actually playing fast and loose with our policing, causing distrust in our Metropolitan Police Commissioner, is absolutely unforgivable and dangerous. And frankly, the Prime Minister, if he has any authority left, should fire her. I'd, I'd like to point out that the Prime Minister himself was saying just yesterday that be it on uh, Mark Rowley's head if the intelligence that he is receiving and the advice he's given the government and not calling off those marches uh, comes to fruition in a pretty ugly way. You're referring to legislation the government itself could use. I assume you might mean something like the Civil Contingencies Act of 2014 to call off no. these marches. Um, but you're, given... you're, you're rightly... Sorry, you're rightly citing what the Prime Minister said, and I think that's very helpful here. What the Prime Minister said is the Metropolitan Police Commissioner must be allowed to do the job that we give the Commissioner to do. So, if the Metropolitan Police Commissioner has wrongly examined the evidence, it will be on his head. That's what the Prime Minister has said. What Suella Braverman is saying is something completely different, which is regardless of the way that the um, Metropolitan Police Commissioner has looked at the evidence, I want it called off. And what the difference between those is, is that the Prime Minister is following the law and Suella Braverman is asking the Metropolitan Police Commissioner to ignore the law. And that seems to me to be a pretty stupid thing for a Home Secretary to do. Uh, thank you very much, Sean Woodward. Good to talk to you. Uh...